Namaste. Children, today in this video we are going to learn the first chapter of history of class 8 as per DV publications syllabus. And the first chapter of class 8's history is the modern period. In the 6th standard, if you remember, you have been taught about the ancient Indian history. In the 7th standard, you have been taught about the medieval Indian history. And for the first time, you are going to learn the modern Indian history in the 8th standard. So what we shall learn in this book of history? We shall learn about the coming of the Europeans to India, especially the Britishers who came over here, stayed here for almost 200 years, ruled over us. We shall learn about the social, political, economical and cultural exploitation of the Indians by the Britishers. And finally, we shall learn about the independence and partition of India. But that will be learned in the chapters to come. In this chapter, which is the modern period, we are going to learn the sources of information. So let us first of all understand what are the sources of information. In history, whatever is taught to us, that is based on the sources of information either that is the literary source of, sources of information or the archaeological sources of information information based on database or internet the books written by some great people autobiographies, biographies letters of that period speeches of that period all such things help us to learn about the incidents that took place during that period so what are the sources of information of the more modern period we are going to learn in this chapter. So let us begin with some of the important sources of information. So the first source of information of the modern period is the British documents. As I told you that the British came over here, they ruled over us for almost 200 years. They passed many bills. They passed some acts to make some administrative reforms in our country and uh, some of the prominent acts or the reports made by the Britishers are the Morley Minto reforms of 1909 the Salmon Commission report of 1929 the Government of India Act of 1935 some bills were also passed like Ilbert Bill, Arms Bill so when we go through the bills and the acts passed by the Britishers in the last 200 years that they spent in our country we get so many pieces of information about the administrative condition of the country, about the social, political, economic condition of the country. So that is the first source of information which is the British document. The second source of information of that period is the books. Many books were written during that period by some great personalities of the country. And uh, if you look at the stature of the people who wrote the books, then you can simply imagine of the facts being written by them, the uh, authenticity of the books, because the books were written by Mahatma Gandhi, Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, Lala Lajpat Rai. They all wrote about the actual social, political, and economical condition of the country of that period. Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, he was a very noted writer of that time. He wrote Anand Mat. Mahatma Gandhi himself, who was a great freedom fighter of the country, he wrote. My Experiments with Truth and Lala Lajpat Rai wrote a book named Unhappy India. Besides these books, many other books, the biographies, the autobiographies, the proses, the poetry were written and all such things are still available for us to have the better understanding of the period that we are learning now. The third source of information is the letters, the writings, the speeches made by the great people or written by the great people during that period. Mahatma Gandhi himself wrote many letters to his uh, freedom fighters or the friends who were supporting Mahatma Gandhi during the struggle of freedom movement. There is a museum near Rajghat in Delhi named Gandhi Smriti. This is one of the largest museums of the country. It has the collection of uh, 60,000 books and nearly 6,000 Photographs, original photographs of Mahatma Gandhi have been preserved there. Uh, at the same time, there were some important personalities of the country who made some important slogans like Bal Gangadhar Tilak said, Freedom is our birthright and we shall have it. Subhash Chandra Bose said, You give me blood, I'll give you 
freedom so these you know letters or the writings or the speeches and the photographs have got ample proofs to pictureize the things or the events that took place during that period the next source of information is the newspapers published during that period we have still the newspapers and the issues of the newspapers of london times bombay samachar which were published uh, during the british period we can go through those newspapers get the information about the incidents that took place during that period some vernacular newspapers were also published like kesari by balgangadhar tilak in marathi language anand bazar patrika in bengali so these newspapers are still available and we can get the information from these newspapers about the incidents or events that took place in modern period the next source of information is the administrative reports of the government the british government conducted many surveys and the reports were generated by the british government and their officials those reports are still available and we can go through those reports to have better understanding of the events and the incidents that took place and the social condition of india during the modern period or uh, during the british period we have got uh, the report of the british government that was conducted by the british officials in the district of champaran from 1913 to 1919 so these are the pieces of information that are important sources for us to have better understanding of the modern period next information is the internet and database as you know that internet and database is the greatest source of information even for every department or every student whenever we need something to learn we go on to the internet try to find out the database of one particular period and we get the information of uh, modern period next source of information is the old buildings the artifacts and the people of that period as you know that the britishers constructed many large buildings which are still here and uh, these buildings tell us about the architectural quality of the british period some important architectures made by the britishers in india are the gateway of india the victoria terminal in mumbai victoria memorial in calcutta the parliament house the president house so all such things are there and as you know that uh, the books of dv publication have got a very important and informative segment that is do you know and the questions are also asked from do you know the students are advised and suggested to go through the facts written in the do you know so here are a few do you know segment from this chapter let's have a look at that the first information that we get from the do you know is about vernacular press act that was passed in 1878 by the british government this act was passed with a view to repressing the anti government writings and propaganda some newspapers were there that really troubled the british government and some of them were sam prakash sulab samachar hali shahar patrika amrit bazar patrika bharat mihir dhaka prakash sadharni bharat sanskarak the second one is about the digital library as you know that it is a collection of documents in an organized electronic form available on internet or on cd rom that is the compact disc read only memory format in a coded form depending on the specific library a user may be able to access magazines or articles or books or papers images sound files and videos and second one is the wikipedia wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia it is the largest and the most popular reference work on internet its content is informative as well as verifiable and the third segment of do you know in this chapter is about uh, the incidents that took place around the world we can get the information from those incidents also like rene shah 
रिफॉर्मेशन इंडस्ट्रियल रेवल्यूशन फ्रेंच रेवल्यूशन रशियन रेवल्यूशन नेशनलिज्म एंड इंपीरियलिज्म सो दिस इज वॉट द डी यू नो सेक्शन वॉज ऑल अबाउट एंड आई होप यू मस्ट हैव गॉट द बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर थैंक्स फॉर